to there's only one more thing to do. Well, I've walked a good five and a half miles now. It just seems like there's no end to it. I don't know how deep on the ground I am now. All I can see is a sign there saying 351. It seems like there's a lot of signs on the way. They must indicate something. I haven't seen one person. But you know the thing we had to do during the Golazor landings? We had to go back in time. Back in time. That's what we had to do. We invented a new moid. T15004, something like that one. Female. Very good looking. We went back in time. Just before the colours all landed. <laughs> And if it wasn't for that, this place would never have been built. It gave us a chance to know what was coming. But it never stopped the day of what we have to do to make a difference with mankind. Are you receiving, Joe? You receiving, Joe? Yes, I'm receiving. I'm now six Lots of miles in. According to the fact that she was on this, I've only got a mile and a half to go. What is the weather like? Is it warm, cold? You can see it's way on the ground, it's quite warm. There's a lot of military around, we get a lot of interference. Yeah, there's a lot of military. Lots. Okay, listen up. Okay. okay, I want you to be safe. I want you to log, every, log everything as much as you can. And when you get to the entrance, leave a beacon on. We're, we can't take much longer out here. The world's falling apart. PRT, we depend on you. Okay? Yeah, okay. So I'm not Roger that. Out. As I was saying, there's only one thing left to do. Just one. And this one was fatal. And I mean fatal. We had no choice. We fought by air, we fought by land, we won't win. So we found out where their base was, well the T-5000, T shooting the set of it, gave coordinations, and we fired the biggest bomb. So that destroyed most of them. As I said, if we didn't go back in time, we wouldn't get the chance to build all this, I guess. 
I ain't got far, I can just about see the light up there for end of the tunnel. I hope people get to see this, to understand why we've come this far. I haven't seen many people alive. When I first started up, PRT, I was investigating. It just started out with little signs of, you know, people were saying they've seen UFOs and things like that, and I was interviewing them. I didn't know, I didn't even think for one minute they would end up like this, alone, in some long tunnel. It seemed to be going nowhere at the moment. So I've only got about a mile and a half to go. And it's like it's getting daylight up there anyway, so let's go investigating. I'll let everyone know. This is PRT signing out for the last time. And I hope someone I hope someone sees these tapes. Finds a way here. Another miniature vehicle going over. Anyway, I have to go now. Bye. We're almost there. It's been about, according to the calculation, it's been over seven miles. <laughs> it feels more like ten. We're here at the safe haven. I've got one more thing to tell you about the world back there. I just remembered it. Somehow I forgot, and it's important. Well, finally, I'm here. One thing I must say, I forgot to say back down there. I've made it, as you can see. Just after the birds, the mosquitoes, a violent thunderstorm came. Anyway, this is it. I'm leaving this here. I pick up a a beacon. I know Joe can't hear me anymore. It goes.